This video introduces a new time leaf concept called fragments, and fragments are a way to share template code across different template files. So let's look first at a very common example of how you might use fragments. I'm in my main template. This is my um, index.html template. So this is the one that we have set up to display at the root path. And uh, recall that this just shows uh, a heading for the app coding events, and then it has navigation with a ul and a single list item inside of it that's a link to the the page that lists all the events uh, so right now our, our site has pretty basic navigation but this is the only page in our site that actually has any navigation links at the top so i would like to be able to share these navigation links with the other templates in my app so let's look at how we can do that uh, we're going to create a fragment in order to make this uh, navigation block shareable and to do that, we're going to go over to our project pane on the left and under resources templates, we'll right click on right click under templates, go back up to new and create a new timely file. I'm going to call this fragments.html. Now you can you can put fragments in other files. You can put them in. You don't have to name the file fragments.html. Uh, but just as sort of as a best practice, I like to group all of my fragments in the same file that's separate from my other templates. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so this is a basic time leaf template, and I can define any sort of time leaf and, or HTML elements in here I like. Um, and so what I want to do first is pull over this navigation stuff from my main template. I'm going to cut and paste that into fragments. So there's one more step I need to do to make this shareable, and that's to define this block as a fragment. So a new time leaf um, piece of syntax is th colon fragments equals and then within quotes, let's call this uh, navigation. So navigation is the identifier for this fragment that I can reference when I want to use it in other files. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at how we can use it in other files. First thing I want to do is just put it back where it was before. I cut it out of my index.html template. I want to put it back. So uh, let me put nav. And here I'm going to use the syntax that uh, references a fragment, th colon replace equals and here I need to put um, two pieces of information to identify the fragment I want to use. I need to put the name of the template that the fragment is contained in. In this case, it's in the fragments file. And then I put a space, two colons, space, and then the name of the fragment within that file. So the identifier we gave our navigation fragment was navigation. So this element right here that I've outlined will be replaced by the fragment defined in fragments.html wherever it's referenced like that. So I can put this uh, anywhere else I want as well. So let's go ahead and put it into uh, events slash index. Let's put it at the top here below the header. And then we'll put it in the create template as well. There we go. So we have three pages on our site, three different templates, and all of them are now using the same navigation fragment. Let's start our application and uh, see how it looks. All right, I'm going to start up a web browser here since we're almost done. There we go. We just finished starting up Spring Boot. And we'll go to localhost 8080. We see on our main page we have, um, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, we have a link to all events. Let's click on that. We go to our all events page. There are no events there. Um, let me go ahead and go to the create event page. And let me add an event. Okay, and that takes me back to the all events page, and I see my event added. My navigation is still there. Now, uh, so yeah, so, so we have our navigation links shared across all three of our main template files. Notice, though, that I had to go to my URL bar to type in the URL to the create form. I had to type in slash create after slash events to get there because I don't have any sort of nav link there. Uh, now let's use the power of templates to insert that nav link all at once across all three templates. So back in IntelliJ, I'll go to my fragment, and I'm going to add, uh, inside of my unordered list, inside of my nav element, I'm going to add a new element. And I'm going to say it's an anchor with href equals slash events slash create. And then the text I'm going to give to that link is create event. OK. And I only have to insert this in one place because this fragment is shared across all the other templates. So now we can start our application up, and when we go back, we should see that this new navigation link 
by virtue of being inserted in a fragment that's shared, is now visible on all of the pages of our site. So we'll just refresh here. So on the Create Event page, it's visible there. Let's go to the All Events page. It's indeed visible there. And let's go to the root of our site. And it's visible there. There you go. So uh, fragments are really powerful. They're really useful for things beyond navigation. Navigation is one of the most common uses. You can also use fragments for common page elements. Most websites that you're used to going to, say, have a shared footer that looks the same on every page or a sidebar that looks the same or similar on every page. So that's a really, really good use of fragments. And that'll help you um, not only write less code, but make your code easier to maintain, cleaner to read, and uh, yeah, just, just better overall.